Tobitowitz got an early start on being an entrepreneur. As a child, she helped her family fill orders for her grandfather's fishing lure business. Chores also included being part of the cleanup crew and later a ticket taker at the movie theater her parents owned. Her family also ran a real estate company and three furniture stores. Typical dinner conversation in her Wisconsin home included daily inventory and transaction totals. I was fortunate because I saw so many successful businesses within the family. Um, I can't say I ever saw one of the family businesses fail, and as a result, I just assumed that if you worked hard and had a good plan, uh, that it would all work out. Growing up in that entrepreneurial environment, I, I often saw my dad take what many people probably thought was not an opportunity at all, and, and he saw something there that other people didn't see. And I really do think that that skill um, almost became ingrained. Jean didn't, however, take the easy path and go into any of the family businesses. She recognized the value of gaining outside experience. As it turned out, after only a few years, she saw a business opportunity of her own and seized it. In 1983, she founded Cambridge Capital Management Corporation. Cambridge is a manager of non-traditional sources of capital for small businesses. For clients, the elements that truly make Jean and Cambridge stand out are the vital stream of advice and the nurturing hand that is offered. One company that Cambridge has helped is Strand Analytical Laboratories, which specializes in DNA testing. There's no question Jean has added a lot of value in the boardroom. Uh, her investment was, was critical in allowing Strand in the last three years to go from about 20 employees to about 50 employees now. Uh, instead of uh, losing money and negative cash flow every month, uh, we will actually post a solid profit for the first time in 2011, and none of which I believe we could have accomplished without the support and counsel of Jean. To date, Cambridge has provided more than $800 million to over 1,200 Indiana companies in areas as diverse as technology and daycare. The number of jobs positively impacted by Cambridge Resources is 33,000 and counting. It's really rewarding when you kind of drive down the street and you can point to companies that you know you've had some small role in helping those companies grow and expand. It's even more important when we hear from some of those businesses on uh, when they contact us and talk about the number of jobs they've created, the number of families that are now relying on those businesses for their livelihood. It's, it's uh, meaningful. Jean's passion for helping Indiana's small businesses flourish is matched by her intense commitment to volunteering and community involvement. A variety of nonprofit and company boards have enjoyed her dedicated service for many years. She is also a well-respected spokesperson on a variety of financial and business development topics. Jean makes the complex more understandable. Businesses are getting more confident. They're, they're starting to be will, willing to step into some additional debt. Um, banks are interested in lending. Professional associations and the banking world consider her a coveted resource. She is one of the sharpest financial minds that I've ever had the pleasure of getting to know. So much energy, so much volunteering, so much that she's done to grow and develop small businesses in our state through her company. She's just a true leader and, and in my view, a great Hoosier. Congratulations, Jean Watowitz, our 2011 Business Leader of the Year.